Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support, in case you haven't subscribed yet. I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button. Now, also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please, check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. The husband of Princess Anne's daughter Zara, Mike Tyndall, apparently got into trouble after making a joke, according to a friend. Former England rugby player Mike Tyndall, who recently co-authored a book, has made waves with revelations about his experiences within the British royal family, including a lighthearted but controversial joke about Prince Harry that reignited public curiosity. Tyndall, married to Zara Tyndall, Prince Harry's cousin, discusses royal life and offers glimpses of his unique bond with the family in his latest book, The Good, The Bad, and The Rugby, Unleashed, co-written with podcast co-hosts James Haskell and Alex Payne. In the new release, Tyndall opens up in a chapter dedicated to the royal family, sharing his observations, anecdotes, and reflections. One particular story has captured attention, a playful jest Tyndall made about Prince Harry during a live segment of the popular British game show, A Question of Sport, which stirred up a minor media storm at the time. In the anecdote, Tyndall, alongside former rugby player Ian Balshaw, pretended to jokingly punch Harry during a party after England's World Cup victory in 2003 humorously suggesting that other members of the royal family had wanted to do so for real. According to James Haskell, Tyndall's co-author, the joke initially landed without issue. It was all in good fun, Haskell writes, noting that the banter was typical of Tyndall's jovial nature. However, the humor didn't remain without backlash. Years later, as tensions within the royal family grew and Harry stepped back from his official duties, the incident resurfaced. Prominent voices, including author Omid Scobie, known for his staunch support of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, weighed in, prompting a social media debate and bringing a new wave of scrutiny to Tyndall's lighthearted joke. What was originally harmless fun turned into a minor kerfuffle, Haskell recounts in the book, explaining that the social media uproar was far from the initial context of the joke. Many online critics, misinterpreting the tone of Tyndall's anecdote, painted it as an unwarranted attack on a young, defenseless Harry. Yet Tyndall reportedly remained unfazed. To be fair to Tins, he gives zero fucks about stuff like that, Haskell noted, underscoring Tyndall's resilient approach to public criticism. Mike Tyndall's involvement with the British monarchy began in 2011 when he married Zara Tyndall, the Queen's granddaughter, forming a connection with members of the royal family. Over the years, Tyndall and Prince Harry developed a close friendship, often seen joking and interacting during family events. However, with Harry's gradual estrangement from his royal relatives, a split compounded by his 2021 memoir, Spare, and high-profile interviews with Oprah Winfrey, the dynamics within the family have changed, leaving some to question the status of Tyndall's relationship with the Duke of Sussex. Although Tyndall has not publicly addressed any potential rift with Harry, his recent remarks about integrating into the royal family highlight his contrasting experience. Believe it or not, marrying into the royal family was pretty easy for me. They were always nice to me, and I was always nice to them. Simple, really, Tyndall writes, offering a perspective that stands in stark contrast to statements made by Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, who, in her own interviews, described feeling isolated within the royal circle. In the book, Tyndall hints that his place within the family has extended beyond just a familial bond, as he has reportedly taken on roles previously associated with Prince Harry. Among them is the beloved fun uncle role to young Prince George. In a separate interview with Fabulous Magazine, body language expert Judy James commented on Tyndall's importance to George, the young heir to the throne. Mike is the fun uncle everyone needs, James noted, adding that Tyndall's influence is particularly valuable given the weight of George's royal responsibilities. With his approachable personality and playful spirit, Tyndall is seen as helping George balance duty with a sense of enjoyment, filling a void left by Harry's relocation to the United States. Despite stepping into these informal roles, 
Tyndall appears content with his position on the periphery of royal responsibilities. His anecdotes reflect a sense of camaraderie, loyalty, and humor, which he continues to bring into the family dynamic. The book, which balances personal insights and humor, has been well-received for its candid look into the experiences of a royal in-law, offering a new lens on how one might navigate royal life while staying true to oneself. <laughs> Tyndall's unique approach has made him a favorite among royal watchers, with many appreciating his down-to-earth manner and his candid commentary. The former rugby star's anecdotes provide a refreshing perspective on royal life, underscoring the ways in which humor, playfulness, and loyalty have shaped his journey within Britain's most high-profile family. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Subscribe now and become part of a community dedicated to diving deep into the stories that touch our lives. Your support is more than just a click. It's a commitment to staying connected and engaged with what matters most. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.